Hi guys. So I just did a quick visit to the Marine Mammal Care Center here in San Pedro, which is the city where I live. This is a really cool place that does rescue and rehabilitation of sick and injured marine mammals, mainly seals and sea lions. So a lot of these animals have either been reported to the center or to animal control by a member of the public. Like if you're on the beach and you see an animal who looks like they need some help, you can call animal control or you can call the center directly and they will have someone come and pick them up. Obviously, if you see a sick or injured seal or sea lion, you should not try to transport them yourself. You should call someone who knows what they're doing. So one of the most common um, reasons an animal will come into the Marine Mammal Care Center is they've been caught in a fishing net. Sometimes this happens like when they're young and they get it caught around their neck and then they grow, but obviously the net doesn't grow, so they end up with like a wound around their neck. There was one sea lion there today with that type of injury. Some other reasons the animals might come in is maybe if they were separated from their mom too young, maybe they were orphans. Um, sometimes they come in with like eye problems, they could have an eye injury or an infection. They could have an injury related to like a boat, like maybe they got hit. Or they could have narrowly escaped a predator, like maybe a shark was after them and they got bit, but they got away and now they need help to recover. Um, so the goal with all of these animals is to get them treated so that they can be released back into the wild, which is where they belong. So in addition to their medical treatment, there's also precautions in place to make sure they don't get habituated because you don't want them to see humans as a positive thing. And you also don't want them to feel like they're dependent on humans for food. Um, you kind of want to teach them to stay as far away from humans as possible. Um, so basically, even though they are in captivity for this short amount of time, you want them to stay wild. Um, sometimes there will be an animal who comes in who can't be released for whatever reason. Like right now they have um, one sea lion who is blind, um, so he won't be able to be released And I think also prior to release, they'll do like a feeding test because they want to make sure that the animal will go after live fish in the pool. So that way they'll get an idea of like whether this animal will be able to hunt for themselves once they're released back into the wild. So anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video to show you some of the animals that were there today. Mostly there were sea lions and then they had two harbor seals and one fur seal. Um, and these guys in this pool right here are the ones who are pretty much ready for release. So they will actually be going back to the ocean fairly soon. And um, Marine Mammal Care Center posts on their Instagram and Facebook, I think, um, when they're doing release dates. And I don't think they are all open to the public, but some of them are announced ahead of time, usually like a day or two ahead of time. So if you're paying attention, you can actually go meet them when they're doing a release. Um, I think they do two different locations. One is in Palos Verdes and one is here in San Pedro. Um, but I've gone to two of them before and it's really awesome. It's really exciting to see these guys just like hop along down the beach and just swim away and start their lives again. Was it two years ago? I think it was on New Year's Day. I remember that much. I was just driving on my way to work. I was running a little bit ahead of schedule and I saw the Marine Mammal Care Center truck driving like they were heading toward the beach and I was like oh, I'm gonna follow them that seems like a reasonable thing to do and um, it was one of their release days and there were a bunch of people waiting at the beach and so I got to hang out and watch I think it was like two or three different animals that day um, be released back to the wild um, and if I can find that clip I will insert it at the end of this video um, I think that's almost all I wanted to say but if you are in the area and you want to check it out you can visit Marine Mammal Care Center um, during business hours I think most of the day they have a docent there so you can just drop in and they will answer any questions that you have and tell you about the different animals. They also do tours for like groups like if you have a class or a Girl Scout troop or a birthday party or whatever um, you can call them in advance and make a reservation to have a little tour for your group. They also periodically have special events. I saw that they're doing a open house in February and then sometimes they'll also have like guest speakers come like um, veterinarians or marine scientists um, or they might do like a film screening things like that so if you follow them on social media um, you'll be able to stay updated on all of that stuff if you want to join them and also of course I have to mention that they run on donations so if you appreciate them and the work that they do um, and you feel like sending some money their way um, that would be awesome and they also have um, a wish list on their website of supplies that you can either order through Amazon or just drop off here in person oh and the last thing that they need is volunteers uh, I actually volunteered here 
a long time ago. It was probably like nine years ago. I remember it was right after I went vegan and my job was sorting fish, like going through the fish that was being defrosted. There were like big blocks of just fish stuck together and you had to kind of defrost and break them apart and sort them, make sure they looked like okay. Like if they were messed up in any way, you would want to take those out because those wouldn't be given to the animals. Anyway, um, that job was kind of gross, but <laughs> I mean, it has to be done. And now that I actually live in San Pedro, I've thought about maybe volunteering here again. There's also a really awesome behind me, this building right here is International Bird Rescue, and I've volunteered there before too. Um, they rescue and rehabilitate. It's basically the same thing as Marine Mammal Care Center, but with marine birds. So they have all kinds of water birds there. That's a really cool place too. They're not open to the public like the Marine Mammal Care Center is, but they also do periodic open houses and like special days where you can come in and take a tour. I highly recommend um, checking them out too. Donating, volunteering, etc. Um, but yeah, my cousin also volunteered at the Marine Mammal Care Center for a while. And one thing that he mentioned is that they sometimes tend to be short on like big, strong volunteers. Um, it turns out that a lot of people who want to volunteer with animals tend to be women. And so when he was there, he was like the only guy volunteer. And like these are big animals. Like if you haven't been around an elephant seal, like those guys are huge, even the babies. They're enormous and they're strong. They're like a giant slug that's made out of muscle, basically. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if you are a big, strong person and you wanna work with animals, this might be a good place for you to volunteer. Okay, I think that's all I have to say and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come and visit one or both of these places or volunteer. Um, and if you have done that, or if you have any questions, uh, let me know. And there's definitely gonna be a clip of marine animals right here, but I don't know exactly which one it's gonna be, so I don't know how to introduce it. So just um, watch it and enjoy it. Okay, I will see you in the next video.